me throughout the show tonight, I'm delighted to welcome the comedians, Charmaine Davies and Diane Spencer. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> There's too much estrogen here for me. <laughs> You're welcome. Hopefully you'll make the change. <laughs> <laughs> it's quite easy these days. Right, OK, now, you were shaking your head. Yeah. Doing that nurse's thing. Yeah. But she's a nurse. So right. how do you disagree with her? Oh, like this. No. Um, that's how you nurse disagree strike. with someone. Well, I... Right. I have literally just... Mm. Like, two weeks ago, I had a hernia operation. OK. Yeah, and I've still got uh, my wee little thing. I'm technically not supposed to be at work, but this, this, <laughs> self-employed. This is many things. It is not work. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um, and there were many, many people who were part of that day. Many people from my arrival to me being visited by people to I had one person talk to me about um, the anaesthesia. I had one person mm. come in with a felt tip pen and literally so it's colouring a bloated my belly button. System is what you're saying. It's a bloated system. That is not what I'm saying. <laughs> oh, you were twisting my words, Patrick. I'm just saying that um, there were a lot of people there, but yeah, it, my my operation was a minor thing. But if they had gone on strike and those people weren't there, then. I'd have turned up at the hospital. You'd have to have gassed yourself. I don't know. What, what job would I have had to do? Would I be the person colouring in my belly button? I could have done that. By the way, can I just say, on, on that <laughs> note, so I've got, um, I've got an arthritic finger. I don't mind everyone seeing this now. It looks like the, the hunchback of Notre Dame, yes. OK. And it, anyway, so I had an operation on this, right? And so it was broken badly, like it was knocked out, like it was just wonky, OK? And they drew, when I had to get it corrected, they drew in felt tip this finger. And I was like, well, I'd hope that after <laughs> like seven years of medical training, right, you could tell which finger is the one that's broken. But anyway, you were also shaking your head a little bit. Do you think I'm deeply offensive and should be cancelled? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Just scrap this program so right, now. So, right so, now. so go on, talk to me. Right, so how much would you pay a nurse? Well, I, is, is, I, do you know... I think they do an amazing job. And I, just recently, like you, actually, two weeks ago, I had a little operation. Bizarre. Weird. Oh, I know. How weird is that? I won't ask And I can't... No, don't. <laughs> I'll tell you in the break. Um, but we, the, the nurses that looked after me, there were loads of different nurses mm. yeah, you know, you talking to you about the people. procedure and this, that and mm. the other. And they go above and beyond mm. uh, that their call of duty. And yeah. then you've got footballers paid well, yeah. millions yeah. and trillions of pounds you just to pick the ball. You can't do that. But then you can't. But what do you do then? Do you smash society? Because people go, oh, pay them the same as politicians. Well, yeah, I get it. If we were starting again, yes, we probably would do that, but we're not there, are we? No, but they, 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 you know, during COVID, they went, they were working every single hour. They were really pushed to the limit. Mm. Nurses really pushed. We thought they were national heroes. We clapped for them every Thursday mm. night or whatever it was. And then they got a 2% increase, which was a bit of a slap in the face, well, really. They, yeah, OK, fair. I mean, they got a 3%, I don't like to, we're all friends here, but they got a 3% increase <laughs> in July 2021 and a 4.5% increase in July 2022, look, it's... Right now, right mm -hmm. now, if nurses went on strike, people would... Die. They would die, yes, right? They would Otherwise, die. what's the point of yeah. nurses, No, right? they would so, die. But how so, are they going to make their point? How are they going to uh, stand up for themselves and fight for what they want? See, without... that's what we've got to workshop. Mm. So, what were... What do you do without killing people? Well, what do you do? So, all right, so, A, we want to avoid killing people, but, but, we, we but they have a lot of bank need... staff. <gasps> they do have agency oh, oh, staff. Oh, she's got it. She's so got the it. N NHS staff, and they have agency staff. So, I'm sure the agency staff would come in to replace the NHS staff. No. Well, they went on well, then why do we need... That would be yeah. terrible, though. But it would be terrible. That would be like then they would just take the whole NHS. No, yeah. like, like you, right, when they'd scribble on you, they drew your little finger, right? Yeah. What if every time you woke up from an operation, it's, it, somebody had written on you in a Sharpie, give us a pay rise. Like, give us a pay rise. <laughs> <laughs> a people. brutal marketing scheme <laughs> that involved... You're really twisted. <laughs> yeah. That's very weird. Well, it's, well, no, but it's interesting. So, it would I work. Mean, what would you pay a nurse? I don't know wh what nurse we're talking about. Like, there's so many nurses who do so many different things. Mm, you yeah. can't just, like, yeah. throw so a dart the starting, in the So the starting salary, so when you right. go in early doors, right, when you're right. kind of a ground-level nurse, right, you start on about 25 grand, 27 right. grand, and you can work your way up to about 55 grand. The average, therefore, is around 32 grand. OK, so... Right. I mean, my first job was 15 grand. But that was about 30 My first ago. job. No, it yes, wasn't. But, yes, very but young, I'm a child. <laughs> no, but, but so my point is, I get if you're living in London, that's catastrophic. Yeah. So, well, this is it. The price, the, 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 it's, the, the cost of living is catastrophic. I mean, electric, gas, everything like this. And if you've got a family, 35 grand is going to go nowhere. Mm. Mm. Is it, really? Okay. If you're a nurse. And, and the thing is, it's not just nine to five, is it? 
you, you may be rusted to do nine to well, five. Well, I imagine it's but not. But it will be hours and hours and hours. Yeah, I do want to make the point, by the way, that, like, look, we're having this discussion about whether or not I think it's right for nurses to go on strike because they're thinking about maybe going on strike. And I would rather that they didn't because no. if one of my loved ones got ill, right, we'd need a nurse, OK? I do, however, massively appreciate nurses <laughs> at the same time. We do need nurses, so it's quite a difficult topic, right? But, you know, if we're being... Ve well, if I'm being, anyway, very, very, very black and white about it, right now, just specifically right now, I don't think we've got the money. Given the fact that, you know, we're going to have to, presumably, and if we want trains, give them a pay rise as well. Yeah. Everyone, a pay everyone wants a pay rise.